Good morning, good morning, good morning. I want to say good morning, SGA people, SGA family, SGA followers on Facebook, YouTube. I also want to say what's up to even those who follow on TikTok, as I'm going to be trying to post this on the various different platforms that I have some sort of presence. And so I want to say good morning. Uh, happy first day of the month. What is this? Uh, the 1st of September. And so for those who don't know, my name is Athena Stewart. I consider myself an identity coach. Um, and so I know that I have been walking through processes of identity for many, many years, for many, many reasons. And I know that many believers struggle in the area of identity, whether knowing themselves in the natural, whether knowing themselves in the spirit, knowing themselves and what that looks like in the identity of Christ, in the identity of the kingdom that goes into your purpose, that goes into your assignment, that goes into your life functions, that goes into your life status. Um, and so this has definitely been a journey that I have been walking on. Um, I said all that to say every month, my community, the Spiritual Growth Academy, which is a virtual faith-based platform where we seek to see God authentically, we fast every three days of the month. Um, this is something that I adopted um, after joining Prophetess Tiffany Montgomery's strategy and structure for fasting and prayer and committing your months, months with an S to the Lord, not just your year. I know many people fast, you know, for 21 days of the year with their organizations um, and that's good enough for them. Um, but I have come to learn that fasting is a way of life. It is a lifestyle and it should be incorporated in every believer's life until what they are seeking the Lord in prayer and fasting is either obtained, resolved, um, or completed. And so um, I wanted to start our month off again this month, September, with honoring the Lord with our body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the Lord, which is our reasonable service. And so I actually have a structure um, to the fast that I will be posting um, on the Spiritual Growth Academy YouTube channel. Um, post page. I'll be posting it in the Spiritual Growth Academy itself. I'll be posting it in uh, the Spiritual Growth Academy private Facebook community. I don't know too much about uh, TikTok to know if I can post, um, but if I can post, I will post the structure there. Um, what we're focusing on or what I'm focusing on for this fast um, is uh, what Tiffany Montgomery and her following are focusing on, which is Nehemiah chapter nine, verse two through three, which is a prayer structure for each day that we are on this fast. Now, I encourage people that if you are on this fast and you don't feel like you've gotten resolved, that you re you continue to go on it. Um, fasting is fasting from food. You drink water only. Um, this is not one of those new age, uh, cultural, societal fasts where, you know, you're saying, well, I'm fasting from sugar, I'm fasting from social media. When, when one is fasting, according to the God of the Bible and the structure and the way that Jesus fasts, you really sustain from everything. And so even though you're sustaining from food for a period of time, you're also sustaining from anything that uh, brings about distraction. We know that television, social media, certain types of genre of music, certain conversations, certain uh, atmospheres uh, come with certain levels of distraction, which therefore really defeats the purpose of being in a place where you are centered uh, to hear from God. And so I encourage you um, to fast and sustain from food now, I normally, with my community, fast from 6 a.m. in the morning to 3 p.m., 6 a.m. to 3 p.m., um, and so you definitely can, can choose uh, whether you're able to do that. Obviously, if you're on medications and things of that nature, seek the advice of your physician. 
Um, I do believe that, you know, you can take what you need to take to take your medication. Doesn't mean that it has to be a full blown meal, but it can be something that is going to settle your stomach. Even for those individuals who are diabetic or have uh, blood sugar um, situations that they are not partnering with, but they are experiencing, um, I encourage to drink, you know, like a protein shake, a boost and ensure that will give you all of the properties that you need, but doesn't necessarily um, give your body enjoyment, if that makes sense. All right. And so Nehemiah 9233 those of the Israelite descendants separated themselves from the foreigners and they stood and confessed their sins and the iniquities of their fathers while they stood in uh, their places. They read from the book of the law, which is the Bible of the Lord, right? And spent another quarter of the day in confession and worship of the Lord God. And so what I love that Tiffany, I love the fact that, that the Lord gave Tiffany this particular um, scripture because, you know, what I find amazing in the Bible is that it always gives us structure. It always gives us direction and a way to do things God's way so that we don't have to think whether or not we're doing something right, wrong, or indifferent, but doing it God's way. And so um, what I did was really look into the scripture and broke it down and I created what I'm calling a practical structure outline based on that context. And so what the structure gives you is a breakdown of that text. For instance, the Israelite descendants separated themselves from all the foreigners. Remember that when the children of Israel left Egypt and they began their journey to the promised land, they came into contact with many different <clears throat> clans or communities or population of, of individuals who were not a part of their faith. These were individuals who worshiped others' gods. These were individuals who were enemies to the people of God. And so the enemies go through these different various types of individuals, just as we have today, was to draw the people of God away from their God, the God of the Bible, to various idols, right? Various ideologies and mindsets through different activities and behaviors in an effort to create apostasy. It's a word I'm learning, which is to, to denounce God, right? To uh, become defiant to God, the ways of God and the things of God. And so we see here that the first step is to separate ourselves, okay? And so I wrote here, the purpose, begin your fast by consciously separating yourself from distractions. This is, in, this is equal to the Israelites separating themselves from the foreigners and influences that could hinder your focus on God, right? And so we know that while we're not back in the times of the, the, the children of Israel, we have, quote unquote, our representation of foreigners. It's social media. Again, it's entertainment. Um, it's, it's negative conversations. Um, it's negative environments that influence um, or create an indifference to what you might be trying to accomplish spiritually um, in your walk with God. And then I put a practical, uh, uh, practical steps. So physical separation, choose a quiet time on disturbed or uh, and an undisturbed space for your fast. This may involve turning off your phone, staying off of social media, um, or, or fasting from certain activities, right? And then what I gave you after that is a spiritual preparation spend time in prayer asking god to cleanse your heart and mind preparing you for an intense time of spiritual focus and then i gave you a prayer um, to pray for that part now remember that structure is for the morning which obviously for some of you you're going to get this a little bit late because honestly i'm dragging on this this was something that i know i was going to do but I had oral surgery and medication and there was a lot. So my mind has been 
kind of on a delay. So um, I do apologize for that. Um, but I wanted to give this to you. It goes into mid morning, it goes into afternoon, it goes into evening, and it gives you step-by-step -step direction. And this is really to help those who say, you know, I want to fast, but I don't understand why I fast. I don't understand how to do it. I don't know about you, but I like structure. So if I can have structure and I can have something that I can follow, it makes it a, a little bit more easier for me to adopt the practice and to do it. Now, on the flip side to this, which is why I love the first piece I wrote is about really asking God to, to cleanse and to purify, right? Because we come in contact with so much in our days, weeks, months, and years that we need like a spiritual cleansing of our mind, of our thoughts, of our imagination, of our emotions, right? Of our choices, of our habits. Um, of certain goals or activities, certain mannerisms. There's a, there's a laundry list of things that we could name out that we really just need God to just cleanse and purify so that we can be focused, so that we can be clear uh, in this time of prayer and fasting. And so in addition to that and this structure, we really want to see what it is that we want from the Lord as we fast. Now, fasting isn't to get something from the Lord. Fasting isn't to get God to do something for you. Fasting really is about disciplining the nature of the flesh, which is your behavior, to align more with your spiritual journey of the Lord. Fasting is not about trying to manipulate God to do something for you. It is about you being able to be in a position to hear what God has been saying to you all the while on whatever it is that troubles your heart, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, whatever it is that you're trying to walk out, walk into or walk through. And so as you begin to fast, you begin to gain a clarity by which to hear the direction of the Lord. But it is good to have an intent. It is good to have an expectation. What do I mean by that? It is good to say, these are some of the things that I need from the Lord. These are some of the things that I am struggling with. These are some of the things that I feel are prohibiting me from being my best self in the Lord, from being my best self in my relationship with Jesus. And so I want to put these, in, these things intentionally before the Lord, not as a genie, but saying, Lord, I'm coming to you intentionally while I am sacrificing and submitting the nature of my behavior, uh, the nature of my flesh under subjection to your law, to your word, to your guidance, these are some things that I need to contend with you for. The word of God says, be anxious for nothing, but in all things with thanksgiving and supplications, make your request unto the Lord. And then there's another text that says, so that you and the Lord can contend together. You're contending against the accuser. You're contending against the assignments of the enemy. You're contending against the things that have uh, put themselves between you and God. So there is always something that the people of God are contending with, and we need to have these levels of strategy by which to be able to contend. Another thing about fasting and doing it intentionally with expectation and structure and strategy is that the, the Holy Spirit will begin to bring up matters of the heart. He'll begin to show you things that need to be dealt with, show you things that need to be walked through, show you things that are impairing you or stunting your ability to truly walk out all that the Lord has for you to walk out, to walk through and to walk in, which is abundance. The word of God says, I come that you might have life. So anywhere that there seems to be death, anywhere that there seems to be darkness, anywhere that there seems to be lack, the Lord says, I come to replace that with life. I come to replace that with wholeness. I come to replace that with light, right? And so uh, we, we know he also says, uh, and that more abundantly. And so when we're not living in abundance, when we're living in stagnicity, when we're living in struggle, the Lord says, I come to replace that with abundance. And so these are things that we can be expectant to be a part of 
the the result of a lifestyle of prayer and fasting, especially when you say, Father, I'm giving you my month. I'm starting my month with you. That's intentional. That's with expectation. That's with hope. That's activating and practically walking out your faith. And so I want to encourage us uh, to be able to jump into this. You might be in the East Coast and say, well, I got this late. Hey, stop eating now. Hey, put a plan together and say for the next however many hours I have, I'm going to set aside this time with the Lord. Now, another very important part of fasting is you have to set time aside to be with the Lord. You cannot fast and say, well, I did sustain from food. And so, you know, that's good. You you have to spend time with the Lord. That's the purpose. The purpose is to, to create opportunity for you to spend your time with the Lord. And so you want to make sure that you carve out time in prayer and reading the word. Even if you read a chapter a day, Make sure that you are reading the chapter intentionally and really um, seeking the Lord. I I also have a prayer that I created uh, so that when I read the Bible, I invite Holy Spirit to open my spiritual eyes and understanding so that I truly get something from every reading of the Word of God. And so I, I may try to post that somewhere and make that available. I'm getting ready to go on to work, but I pray that this is encouraging, that this is helpful, and that you decide to go ahead and jump on uh, this journey with me. I think it will be um, a blessing for your spirit and your soul. And so I'm going to pray this prayer, and then I'm I'm immediately jumping off of here because I am late. Lord, as we enter this time of fasting, we separate ourselves from distractions and noises of the world. We set our hearts and our minds solely on you. Cleanse us, O God, from anything that would hinder uh, us from hearing your voice clearly. Uh, We dedicate this day to seek your face, to draw near to you, and to walk in your ways. Prepare our hearts, Lord, for the work you want us to do uh, and the work that you want to do in us today. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you guys. I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray that this blesses you. I'm already, um, I'm already blessed. And it's even something like when you already know that you're going to be dedicating time to God, it really sets up your day where you're motivated uh, to be in a space with God. And and to me, that's priceless. And so again, I pray again that this blesses you all. I pray that you guys um, definitely get something out of this structure um, and that it's helpful to you. Again, I love you guys with the love of the Lord. And uh, I will talk with you guys soon. Bye now.